Hi, so there's some exciting news. Uh, hopefully, we're looking at completing, according to Kayakistan, our builder, that uh, we should be finished with the renovation of the interior of the house uh, first week of July. So we're looking at doing an open house demonstration for the local people between the 9th and the 15th of July. Uh, the Kayakistan asked us if we were okay with that to enable him to advertise his business, which we're okay with that. Uh, this company is a small family owned local business and we are suckers for that kind of uh, business. So we definitely want to support. So I'm looking at doing the live stream on YouTube, which is my first time ever doing it. So if you're interested, please let me know and then uh, we'll probably set that up. Uh, here shortly, I'm gonna go ahead and walk around the house and show the latest progress. Uh, right now it's kind of hard to visualize because everything is kind of covered up with the cardboard and and uh, the floors and whatnot but it's coming along so today I'm going to go ahead and focus on this side of the the property which is we call the mountain um, there is uh, lots of coos growing uh, the past couple of days I've been focusing on uh, weed eating throughout the entire property and uh, I was able to do it knock it out quite quickly since I uh, now I'm using the cord. Uh, thanks Steve again for that recommendation. Uh, here in a minute I'll go ahead and show you a little lesson learned on top of that as well. But uh, so yeah I'm going to go ahead and focus on this side and I intentionally just let this grow so that I can see where the roots are coming from. So yeah so the only way really unless someone else knows <laughs> is to get up in there and uh, just pull them from, from the roots. I'm intentionally leaving this section right here, uh, let it grow so that I can uh, here in the next couple days, so this is a weekend. So I'm going to go ahead and focus on pulling all these uh, kuzu uh, vines out of here. In this section right here, I'm actually trying to kill the weeds little by little. So I have been, uh, I've been spraying with uh, uh, weed killer so you can kind of see where I was able to get in other places I just uh, missed or it was too uh, strong for it and the reason why is because there's a lot of still a lot of debris like I've covered before if you have not watched us before this is a vacant house renovation here in rural Japan so if you're interested please uh, head on back to uh, other videos and uh, follow along so yeah I need to clean out all this area right here so I'm trying to Go ahead and uh, kill the grass so it's easy to see. And then we're gonna bulldoze it and flatten it out. What I have been able to do is clean up this uh, upper backyard uh, really nicely with a weed eater using the cord. Uh, originally I was using the, the blade, but it was quite slow. But with the cord, once I got the right combination, I believe I got it and some lessons learned and I'll cover that here in a minute, what those lessons learned were, but I'm still learning some more. But uh, yeah, I was able to knock out this area right here all along the side and the top of the mountain over there where the chestnut trees are at. I was able to do that in no time. And uh, so still, like I said, this part right here, it's, that's a different story. Looks like the neighbor's gardens are growing quite nicely. And uh, looks like our neighbor is over here, uh, um, I don't know, fertilizing or not fertilizing for spraying something for the rice. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but this is their their rice that they planted last weekend. They were out here planting. And uh, this would be kind of interesting to learn how all this works. Uh, I don't know. I've uh, in the past I did play around once with some friends and I had the opportunity to to plant some rice. Uh, that was several years ago before COVID. Uh, but who knows? Let's see if I can uh, convince these folks here to allow me to uh, to uh, use a tractor. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, see, I was just flooded with water, nice, clean water. And then yesterday I was out here doing some work in the afternoon and I could hear the frogs. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what that is, but I'm sure I'm pretty sure someone will uh, be able to explain what he's doing right there for me. But eventually, I'll learn. And so here, I'm kind of on this little side road. And this is the uh, property of my neighbors. 
As you can see, I'm surrounded by rice fields. And it seems like uh, we're like the only ones that have a bunch of uh, different fruit trees and whatnot. But as you can see, wow, it looks really, really nice now. I'm really, <laughs> I must say, I'm really pretty proud of myself, I, I, I should say. Um, but there's still a whole lot of more work to do. So some of the uh, latest updates here on the house is that the uh, laundry room is almost complete as far as the uh, the shell part. Uh, they still have to put the, the shingles or roofing on top of it, but the inside is uh, getting there. And then the uh, pantry as well, right here. Uh, one of the issues that we had when we moved in or when I inspected the house is that this portion of the house right here had some some rotten wood so that was one of the things that i asked the kayak son to fix and so that's what they're working on right there but really impressed with the quality of work of the pantry of this section right here in the laundry room there's no two by fours or <laughs> there's a solid i don't know six by six beams and whatnot yeah, so this is going to be a nice little addition to the house to make it basically just more convenient to uh, be able to do laundry. And yeah, so right now, primarily they're working on the sheetrock, finishing up the sheetrock throughout the house. And along with the, along with the sheetrock, you know, the uh, putting the uh, insulation. And looks like the pantry is almost done. Minus the sheetrock. And obviously finishing up the ceiling there, but the free wiring and everything has been done. And for those of you that are kind of interested or wondering why there are one, two, three, four outlets. So basically a total of eight. And here we're going to have like the rice cooker, the toaster, um, bread maker and that type of stuff. So that it's not cluttering up the counter on the kitchen side over here. We quickly use up all our space. And then right here, there'd be a, an island. So that would be, a, they will also have outlets on each side of the island. And right here, they're working on the uh, toilet. Yeah, so it looks like they have delivered the, the two toilets that will be in the house, one downstairs, one upstairs. Part of this project is that we are adding a toilet upstairs in the craft room. So those have been delivered and uh, I hate to say it, they're not the cheapest things in the world because they, you know, the whole heated toilet and all that good jazz. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so any uh, any kind of renovation like this, if that's the way you're going to go, um, the, uh, the kitchen, the shower, the toilet, those are quite significantly more expensive than in, in the United States. And then it looks like the, uh, the shower unit is pretty much good to go has been installed. This has been covered in a previous video if, it, if you're interested in watching that. And then right here is where the laundry room is at. So nice big window for the laundry room and an exit door so that we can go out and hang some clothes there. And here in the corner, you can see the, uh, the little, uh, those two little hoses sticking out. We're going to have a little uh, sink right there so you can wash you know, the, uh, some basic stuff, right? So um, rags and stuff like that, or just so that we can wash stuff. And then right here, well, in this section right here is where the washer and dryer will be at. It's going to be a uh, gas dryer because the electric dryers in Japan just do not cut it. And rumor is that the gas dryers uh, work really well. So that has been installed. And in this section right here, there's gonna be like a little counter so that um, we can just do stuff, possibly fold clothes or who knows what, whatever. So just kind of use that as well. Uh, the floor, kind of hard to see right now, but the floor as well is um, wood floor and perfectly level with the entire uh, rest of the house. This is the walk-in closet. And then in the walk-in closet is where the electrical panel will be uh, that's so that's what that, that is right here uh unfortunately uh, maybe a little too small i guess uh, for both of us but like i told choco if we can't fit our clothes in here then we probably have too much so kayak has been discussing with us the the loft right here so uh 
Uh, I'm still kind of curious and excited to see how that's going to go. Uh, one thing that he was mentioning is that originally we wanted, um, wanted the loft to have some sort of little storage area incorporated. But because he knows that I really, really want to see beams and woodwork and whatnot, he mentioned the other day that if he were to do that, I think that beam right there would be covered. I was not here. He discussed that with Choco, and Choco just made the decision and said, no, just uh, uh, my husband wants to see beams, so <laughs> let it be. Uh, so that's what, the, that's, that's what the final decision of that was. But it's going to, the way I understand, it's just going to be kind of like a section right here. So you'll be able to look on through both both sides and you kind of look, look over. It's kind of like a little long extension, I guess. And a small entrance. Again, mainly for the, for the little ones that I've discussed before. But kind of looking forward to see how that looks. And also be able to see the word work from, from, uh, from the angle from being upstairs in the, the loft. All right, so I just want to go ahead and share a little lesson learned before I go out there and start doing some weed eating uh, for today. Several weeks ago, I was using the blade, and you probably saw that video, and uh, things were going well, but pretty slow. And then uh, Steve from Real Road, Japan, he lives in Nagano, so he's experienced with a lot of weed eating. As he recommended that I, sh that I should use the core type. Now, I have had a hate-love relationship with uh, the cord uh, weed eaters uh, because they're very frustrating once they come out and everything, but I decided to give it a shot. So I went ahead and bought, uh, bought, bought one from NAFCO, the local store, this one right here. Um, so this is the attachment that I bought, and I bought the most expensive one I can buy so because I was trying not to go cheap, and, uh, and it came with the original cord, which is kind of a white one like this. Uh, that, that worked well, but it kind of ran out pretty fast. So then later I got this one right here. Okay, actually let me show this a little bit better because I actually do like this one right here. The first time I, I had to change the cord, I was up on top of the mountain. Uh, I was right there on my butt on, on the ground. And uh, I didn't realize it, but I guess I dropped the little spring that goes inside here for the plunger. So I put it all back together and then uh, I started back up and then the cord just kept fanning out, fanning out. And uh, so obviously something wasn't working. I got very frustrated. And so now I am hating my, my weed eater again. So anyways, uh, the following week I was at work. So there was some um, uh, lawn care service, Japanese folks that, that come there. And they, I noticed that they were using the exact same head and everything. And they're just weeding away all day long. So I stopped and I pulled out my best Japanese ever and asked her, because there's actually primarily there's women out there doing it. Nothing wrong with that. Just, just not what I'm used to, too. <laughs> Is uh, that uh, they, um, they, uh, so I stopped and asked her, uh, what what do you use? So she showed me, it was, okay, it was the same one. And I explained to her that my thing just keeps fanning out. They said, oh, you're missing the spring. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, and then she apologized for not having one on her. That's typical Japanese. And uh, so anyways, the next day I was uh, outside the building and they were still out there. And she flagged me down and she gave me a spring. Uh, that she actually had in her pocket ready as soon as she saw me, right? So um, she gave me a spring, and it, it worked much better. Uh, however, it was still kind of coming out a little bit, and the, so I figured that the the spring needed a little bit more uh, tension because the plunge the plunge wasn't really plunging very well. Anyway, so I uh, I just kind of with my hand just pulled it out a little bit and uh, put it back in, and everything seems to be working great. So right now. I'm going to go out there and finish up. Uh, yesterday, I was actually able to do a lot of work until I ran out of gas. And, but this type of cord right here, what I bought at the store, is the um, the three three millimeter uh, black black type. Um, let's see what brand Maruyama Maruyama type, uh, and it really I don't think it even uh, came out. So it's still still quite a bit in there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go do some weed eating, and after that, uh, work on 
uh, the kuzu that's uh, growing on the side of the house. So yeah, so I just wanted to share that experience, uh, lesson learned from myself, and uh, hopefully uh, you don't re repeat the same mistake. And if you do, hopefully you go back and you remember it's like, oh yeah, that knucklehead uh, did the same thing. So you know, because I was, I I was getting frustrated. Oh. <laughs> Uh, and talking about my frustration is so then I went on Amazon and I ordered actually from the States one of these that was the easy lock that uh, is basically just uh, two little cords type of thing and basically you um, it comes with a little you just kind of put two here and put there so really quick someone else told me that they work really well but since I am once again happy again with this I'm going to keep on trying using this and uh, then later I'll pull this out if I have to. All right, folks. So again, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please hit subscribe and share and like and all of that so that we can continue sharing this information as we complete our uh, renovation here in rural Japan. All right. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.